Rose family, it's Rose 780 Rose, and we're back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, I'm doing my BoxyCharm base and premium unboxing and try on. Here's my base box and my premium box. So, yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first things first, I want to show you guys what I have in my boxes, and then we'll move on to the try on portion. And then I will give you my final thoughts on everything. Also, please don't mind my hair. I washed it last night, and it is all types of crazy. So let's start off with the base box. So the first thing I got is from the Clean Skin Club. This is their vitamin C brightening booster. It has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple in it. Basically, it's a serum, I'm going to assume. Yeah, it is a serum, really pretty packaging, and this retails for $49.95. That is quite expensive. It looks expensive. Um, it says, as a booster, mix three drops to enhance your cream or serum can be applied in the morning and evening. And as a serum, apply three drops directly to face and neck after cleansing. So we will be using that today. The next thing I got is from Studio Makeup. This is their Endurance Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Gold. It's basically a cream shadow. This retails for $25. That is quite expensive. If I'm going to pay $25 for this, I might as well just get the Stila ones. So, let's see. That is what it looks like. It doesn't really look too pigmented. It really just looks like a sheer stroke of glitter. But we will see how it applies on the eyes. The next thing I got is from Ace Beauté. This is their Bronzed in Paradise palette. It does come in a little bubble thingy. And this is what the actual palette looks like. Really pretty packaging. Definitely fall vibes. And it does come with a nice sized mirror. And it has four different like bronzer type shades. I could probably use the first shade as a setting powder under my eyes. And the last shade as a contour powder. And then the two in the center mix them for bronzer. Next, I have the Elmar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Gloss, which retails for $15. I'm not sure if I said how much the bronze palette was. It's $30, bucks, but this lip gloss is $15, and this is in the shade Birthday Suit. And let's see if it has a scent. It smells like really sweet, and that is a swatch of it right there really pretty it doesn't look too opaque but it doesn't look too sheer at the same time and then the last thing that i got is from the crumb shop this is their next gen blender set um this is what it looks like it's basically a sponge duo this retails for 22 dollars so with all of that being said the overall retail value for my base box is 141 dollars and 95 since so let's move on to what i got in my premium box okay i had to do something on my head because it was bothering me it's still bothering me but it's better than before okay so the first thing i see is from byro new york this is their bitter green essence toner pretty big box really pretty packaging it does look quite thicker than what i'm normally used to seeing a toner look like like it looks a lot more like a jelly kind of consistency, but the color is really, really pretty. And this retails for $95. The next thing that I see in here is from BoxyCharm. This is their Neon Jelly Pouch with Pom Pom, which retails for $20. Um, This is quite bright. I do say so myself, but this is what the pouch looks like. It does have like a boxy charm like print in it. You probably can't see it, but it's like right in the center. And it does have these little pom pom things on the zipper. Um, and that is that. I don't really know how I feel about that. That is super bright. I I honestly wouldn't pay twenty dollars for that. So next is this no makeup lipstick from pericone md and this retails for 30 dollars that's expensive again i wouldn't pay 30 dollars for lipstick when the drugstore has really good lipsticks for affordable prices and this is what it looks like and to open it you just like unscrew it which is weird but it has like this 
weird pattern on it like do you see that i don't know how i feel about that i don't know if i want to put that on my lips but i will swatch it it has like a glossy type formula it smells good we'll see next is the next thing i see is from kenya Antiveros beauty it's a blush and shine kit and it looks like this this retails for 42 dollars it comes with three highlighters and three blushes if i'm not mistaken and it has like a white snake leopard type of skin vibe going on it does come with a little plastic thing which i'm just going to remove so three blushes and then three highlighters on the top really pretty shades i'm always one for a face palette love them they're so convenient and i believe this is the choice that i chose for my premium box and these all look like colors i can definitely use so super excited to play with that the next thing i see is from ciate london this is the everyday vacay coconut setting spray it's a dewy setting spray and this retails for 22 dollars this is what the packaging looks like and this is what the actual product packaging looks like really pretty um this kind of reminds me of like the pixie setting mist type of spray so hopefully it's a fine mist let's see there is a faint scent of coconut in the mist but it is very fine so super excited to use this and you can use it before and after makeup and last but not least is the Morphe X Manny MUA Glam Palette, which retails for $20. And this is what the packaging looks like. Really, really cute. There's a little picture of Manny on the back. I'm super excited to have this. And I'm pretty sure this is the product. This is one of the products that everyone received in their premium boxes. And this is what the palette looks like. I love like the marble type of effect. It does have a nice sized mirror and it comes with 12 eyeshadows and two highlighters really really pretty colors i could definitely see me reaching for this on an everyday basis really simple pretty colors i actually like it super excited to use this and with that being said that brings this premium box value to 229 dollars so let's move on to the try on portion so first i'm going to use a little bit of the essence toner and just wipe that around my face so i'm just going to put some on a little wipe So next, I'm going to be taking the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster, and I'm going to apply two to three drops on the skin, like it said. I'm going to shake it up first, just in case. It is already getting tacky so while that is settling into the skin i am going to do the eyes so i'm going to prime my eyes real quick and then i will be back with the manny mua palette That color is barely showing up, so I'm going to take this color instead and pop it in the crease.
So this is what the eye look looks like. I'm gonna finish off the eyes with eyeliner, mascara, maybe falsies, and then I will come back with the new Crem Shop sponge. So before I come back with the new sponge, I'm gonna use this to moisturize my face a bit more. This says you can use this before and after makeup, so I'm just gonna cover my eyes and spray my face. So I guess I'm gonna kinda of, sorta of use that as a primer as well. So I wet one of these sponges and this is what it looks like and I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Caramel. And this is the regular foundation, not the dewy. So I want to use this for foundation and concealer. So I think I want to use the flat like bottom side for the foundation. So I'm going to set everything down with powder and then I will come back with the blush and bronzer and highlighter portion. So I set everything down with a pressed powder from Maybelline. So now I'm going to take the Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise palette. And I'm going to use this color just to brighten up my under eyes and anywhere I put concealer. Then I'm going to use the two sensor shades to bronze. I'm going to take this shade right here to contour my nose. And I'm going to use the last shade just a little bit, just in the very tops 
of my cheekbones just to create a little bit of a dimension. And that is very pigmented, so you want to go very light-handed, as you can see. I'm just going to place it there and then blend it out with the original brush I was using. And I'm going to go back in with that first shade just to clean everything up. Okay, so now it's time for blush and I'm going to go on with the Kenya palette, which has three different blushes. Um, I think I'm going to mix these two shades. This shade is called Gemini and this one is called XOXO. Gemini is more of an orange shade and XOXO is more of a mauve shade. And then I'll use the pinkish shade just for the tip of my nose. So I use the shade on the tip of my nose because I like that look. And these are really pigmented, so I suggest you go a very light-handed, but really, really pretty colors nonetheless. So I'm going to go back in with my powder brush just to tone that down a bit. Okay, next is highlighter, and I have five different options. So I have the two highlighters in the Manny MUA palette, and then the three highlighters from the Kenya palette. So I think I'm going to use Apollo on my cheekbones and on my face, and then I'll use one of the highlighters from this palette for my inner corner and my brow bone. So I'm going to take Apollo, which is the more golden shade. Okay, so before I do my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to finish off the lower lash line. So I'm just going to take this shade right here, which is called Scorpio. And I'm just going to smoke that out on the lower lash line. So for inner corner highlight, I think I'm going to take the lightest shade from the Kenya palette, which is called Lights, and just place that on the inner corner. I'm going to drag it into my lower lash line a bit. And then I think I want to take the shade Shine and mix it with lights for the brow bone. So I'm going to set everything down with the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Dewy Setting Mist before I move on to lips. So I'm going to take the Pericone MD No Makeup Lipstick in the shade, I don't really think there's a shade. It just says 8L6 on the bottom. So I'm just gonna put this on lightly. Very moisturizing. And then I'm gonna take the LMR Cosmetics Lip Gloss just to top that off. So I'm just going to finish off my lower mascara, my waterline, and then I will be back with my final thoughts. So here is the completed look, and 
let me just tell you, I'm actually pretty impressed with all the products that I got. So starting off with the base box, the Essence feels pretty nice. It is thicker, but overall it is a nice consistency and feels really nice on the skin. The Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Spray. I think I like it more before makeup, but I set my makeup down pretty nice, no complaints. The Kenya Antiveros Beauty Blush and Shine Kit. I really do like, I don't mind that it doesn't have a mirror. The highlighters are super pigmented and the blushes as well so i really do enjoy that now the morphe times many mua palette um i like the mirror i will say that the mattes are a bit powdery and you do have to build them up quite a bit but i'm okay with that and the highlighter again is not super blinding but it's really nice for our everyday simple highlight as you can see um, I'm sure if you build it up more, maybe wet it, it'll be a bit more intense, but I like it. I think it's okay. And the shimmers are gorgeous. The Pyrocone MD um, lipstick, again, um, I think it's okay. I wouldn't pay $30 or $20 for this lipstick. Um, it isn't matte. It is really moisturizing on the lips and it has a nice little tint to it. So I think that is pretty okay. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use it though, because again, it has all this weird stuff on it, which I don't think is normal. So I don't know. I don't know about that. And then last but not least from the premium box is the orange pouch. I'm really not sure if I would use this with the pom-poms. I might just cut the pom-pom things off and then use it because it is really bright and out there. So I'll think about it but overall i give my premium boxy charm a 10 out of 10 i don't think i disliked anything from this box to be honest so let's move on to the base box so starting with the sponges they are really soft they blended out my foundation and concealer really nicely um i did only use one i didn't see the point in dirtying two so yeah i can't wait to use this one the shape looks quite interesting the studio makeup eyeshadow thing is a nice topper for a shimmer shade but i wouldn't use this on its own it's really really sheer but i think it did add a little sparkle to my look if i do say so myself um it doesn't feel dry or anything on the lid so i think it's okay lmr cosmetics uh birthday suit lip gloss is really really nice it is on the thicker side it doesn't feel like slick and slippery but it's not sticky like when you put your lips together see and it is really really nice shine the clean skin club vitamin c brightening booster i could definitely see myself using this day and night because it is so moisturizing on the skin and it, and it does leave a nice tacky layer so really really nice and last but not least is the Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise palette. I can use every single shade in here and they all work for me. And I really like the lightest shade as a setting powder whenever I use something too bright as far as concealer as I did today. So yeah, again, my base box, I would give a 10 out of 10. I enjoyed every single product I used today. And yeah, I can't wait to see what they do next month. I hope they stay on this track because the last few boxes have been on the thumbs down side for me. So on that note, that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys thought or if you get BoxyCharm, what did you get? And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.